Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about Mesorb cover dressing. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So Mesorb is a gauze dressing. Um, so it is for moderate to high amounts of exudate. So it can absorb high amounts of exudate or drainage coming out of the wound. Um, it does have a fluid repellent backing, which also covers the sides um, to prevent any leaking. Um, and it is also breathable. So this dressing is indicated um, because it does absorb high amounts of exudate. It is indicated for moderate to heavy exudating wounds, um, which require frequent dressing changes. Okay, so this can kind of minimize how much you need to change the dressing. So if you're changing it daily, um, it can go to every other day, sometimes depending um, on the amount of exudate once again. Um, and this can be used as either the primary dressing or with other products as a secondary dressing. So if you're going to use, um, say, an antimicrobial, it can be used as the cover dressing over top of that, or it can be used alone. Contraindications. So you don't, just like any other product, um, it's always going to say don't use on untreated clinically infected wounds. So you, anytime we have an infected wounds, we want to make sure that we're treating them immediately. So just like any wound care product, first we are going to cleanse the wound with normal saline and um, dry off the peri-wound tissue. Now you can use a barrier if it's necessary. Um, you can use that. Now to apply, you just want to make sure that the dressing is about two to four centimeters overlapping the peri-wound skin. Um, and it can be used as either the primary dressing or the secondary dressing, as I stated in the previous slide. Um, and then you're just going to make sure you secure it in place with either cling tape, um, any sort of fixation device. So to remove this dressing, you're just going to remove the um, tape and just gently remove it. Now, if it is getting stuck to the wound, you want to make sure to just saturate it with some uh, sterile water or sterile saline, um, and it will, after a few minutes, just easily lift off. You don't wanna be just pulling it off if it is stuck, um, as it's going to wreck the wound bed that you just um, healed, or working towards healing. Um, the expected outcome of using this dressing is that we have no um, peri-wound skin maceration um, so that the drainage is being managed well. Um, the frequency of dressing change, it does totally depend on the amount of exudate coming out of the wound. Okay, so when the dressing is saturated, it needs to be removed and changed. Um, I have included the different sizes here. So you just want to make sure it has that, that about two to four centimeters overlap. Um, we don't really want to be cutting these dressings um, as they are to hold a lot of exudate. When you start cutting up these types of dressings, um, it's not going to absorb as well. So that's all that I have for this video. I hope to see you in my next one. See you guys.